Hello everyone. So today we will be discussing about the implant genesis uh, prosthetic components and I will be showing you a live demo on uh, open tray as well as a closed tray on the same patient. So when it comes to implant genesis, uh, the, all the prosthetic components in any system will be tightened with the hex drive. So this is the implant genesis active open tray impression coping. This looks like this. This is the implant genesis active closed tray impression. This looks like this. The major difference is uh, the closed tray has the smaller screw, the open tray has the longer screw and the open tray has the bigger rings, the closed tray has the smaller rings. We will tell you why these rings are given and what is the importance of it. And both of them will fit into the active analog. This is the implant genesis analog. So now I am opening the closed tray component. And I am opening the analog as well. This is the open tray which I am opening again. So this is the open tray components, these two are the open tray components, these two are the closed tray components, these are the analogs. Now analog is an implant replica. So what exactly happens is this will go and snugly fit into the connection. Okay, this is a closed tray and I will be tightening them like this. So after the impression, this you have to tighten the analog into the components. So I am just showing it for the demo purpose. So okay, this is how they go and fit. This is the open tray, this is the closed tray with the analogs. Uh, the major difference between the open tray and the closed tray component is they, the size of both of them are the same. The only issue is the screw in this is very small, the screw in this is big. Such that once we keep a tray, we can unwind this screw and this comes along with the tray. Whereas the closed tray component will be in the mouth, we need to unwind it and we can remove it later on. Usually closed tray is used in patients having small mouth openings and uh, open tray is used for patients having good mouth opening and also to get a good screw retain uh, processes. So this is a patient of an oligodontia. So in this I am taking two open trays here and uh, two closed tray impressions here. We have done the second stage uh, two weeks back open. So she is having a less mouth opening. So I am unwinding the healing cap now. This is the healing cap. So this is the closed tray coping of uh, Genesis. Now it has a flat surface and the remaining is a round surface. So this is the closed tray coping of the Genesis. So in this what happens is there is a flat surface and the complete surface is again uh, uh, rounded. So I will make sure that the flat surface is located at the buccal side such that it will be easy for me. So see in this healing area where we are placing this closed tray uh, abutment here or closed. <coughs> so ready? I have fit the closed tray component with the flat surface towards the buccal side. Now I will be taking an X-ray, an RVG. Now that's the X-ray. For every case, we need to 
whenever you are taking any impression or you are adding any coping onto the implant, we need to confirm it with the RVG. Now this is the second uh, closed tray coping which I am using it for the again for the other side molar and again I am keeping the buccal surface towards the uh, the flat surface towards the buccal side. So see we have done the both the closed trays with the buccal side we are having the flat surface that is easy for our identification. So. This is the open tray, it also has a flat surface, this is also for helps in orientation of it. But mainly open tray is used whenever there are more than one implant. So this is an open tray where I am fixing it, see. <coughs> Tightening the second open tray, open, open wide, hmm. bus. So now I have fit both of these uh, open trays here on the anterior side because I want to splint them open. Now I am taking an RVG to confirm the position of the uh, uh, connection between the uh, open tray as well as the uh, implant should. So this is the X-ray of both the open trays. Uh, we need to ch absolutely confirm that they are seated well in the implant. Once I fit them, I just do a trial check of an impression tray. So whenever you are taking an impression tray, the open tray should come out of the this one, uh, the tray. So we need to confirm that uh, these two projections are outside and uh, whenever you are taking an uh, open tray impression. So this is a modified tray, I just uh, cut the tray for a full mouth case. So since there are uh, two close tray copings here, so I have just kept a tape such that the uh, material will be there properly there. Whenever uh, we are doing an open tray impression, so the major important thing is we need to splint the pro uh, open tray components for which we use a floss. Some people use a burr. Uh, can I have an old burr also? Burrs should be uh, some of the uh, dentists use an old bar like this and then they keep the pattern resin and then they can take the impression. This is just for a splinting. We actually use a floss. So there are two rings which are there in the open tray. Your floss should need to be tied between those two rings, both lingual side as well as on the buccal side or the labial side. See this? The floss is between those two rings. Okay. Now you can keep a knot here, you can tie it or else you can directly keep a pattern resin on it. <coughs> It's just a simple knot, there is not much of rocket science in it. So after the knot we cut off the excess floss, we throw it. This is the pattern resin which we apply for the open tray components. So it comes in a powder and a liquid form. So we have dispensed this like this. So this is the method of applying the pattern resin, there is a brush which is provided in it, okay. Just dip it in the liquid first, then dip it onto the pattern resin. So when it is about to set, you can just apply it there. Pattern resin usually sets little bit fast than compared to your regular cold cure acrylic. Pattern resin has uh, less amount of compensation or uh, shrinkage. It is always better to use pattern resin. Few of the dentists also use the light cure composites. So this is how we applied the pattern resin. It should be uh, both 
the lingual side as well as on the buccal side it should be completely there and the thickness should be minimum is 3 to 4 millimeters minimum should be 3 uh, so this is more than that so I'm, I'm happy with the splinting of these two apartments so why we should splint these two apartments is whenever we take an impression whenever we take an impression open while we are removing it so there might be a chance of distortion of the impression material and they come out so with this splinting there won't be any distortion of the uh, implants when they are coming on out, uh, out of the impression in the uh, uh, light body here i am using a light body and i will be using a putty i will be using the putty here and i will be depositing the uh, light body in the patient's mouth so what we do is initially we the light body between these two such that the bottom is recorded well and then we go to the closed tray one minute tray Sundar Betama open this is it this is it hmm. open so whenever we are taking the impression the two open trays should come out of this impression so can you see those two hold on so now the material is set so now what I am doing is I am unwinding the open tray copings of the Genesis uh, implants see this is the access hole through which I am opening the open tray components we just need to unwind these things you can either keep it or you can directly remove it completely the screw completely so I usually prefer to remove them completely so I usually remove both the screws <coughs> open so this is how we remove the uh, tray see now the open trays are here they will become an integral part of a tray but see the closed trays are not here they will be still in the mouth in the same orientation how they are so what we will be doing is we have to transfer this closed tray from here to the tray now I am unwinding the closed tray components which is how we unwind the closed tray component I usually use some gels like Blue M or any Metroix gel whenever I am unwinding or locking the uh, the healing caps or any components. Other focus. Anterior is the better than bridge. So this is the impression uh, which we have just taken it. Now if you see the open tray components have become the integral part of the uh, tray and the closed tray have is just like an FPD impression they look like this. Right now there is a flat surface which I already mentioned it's always onto the buccal side here and also buccal side here in the closed tray. So first I will show you how to take the closed tray. Now this is the closed tray impression coping of the same thing which we have used for the patient after washing them we fix up to the analog okay this is how we fix up to the analog once we fix up to the analog we tighten them these two components so it is like you are joining this component and the, this component to make it like this okay so I will be joining this component as well now 
because there are two closed tray impressions in it, closed tray uh, impression which we have taken with the two copings. So this is how we have tightened it. Okay, once I have tightened it, now see there are two concentric rings on the closed tray, first ring and the second ring. So when I am pushing this into the tray, it should give me two sounds. Now hear it very carefully, see. See the flat surface is matching towards the flat surface here. And uh, you can on the light. Uh, see this is the flat surface matching towards the flat surface. First sound. And the second sound. This is how it goes in. I'll show you on the other side as well. Once it goes in like this. First sound and second sound. Okay, this is how we fix up the closed tray units. Now this is uh, now this is how we fix up the closed tray. Now how to fix up the open tray copings? It's very simple. Just pass this lengthy screw which you have removed it from the impression directly into this, and the second one also pass through this. Okay, now you take a new analog. Just keep the analog on it like this and keep your finger on this the thumb and then tighten it with the hex driver from the other side make sure your analog is fitting well there see this your analog fits well there okay it should not fit in other directions okay it fits like this snug fit once it fits then keep the finger on this, thumb on it, preferably, and with the other side hand, the other hand, you just tighten the open tray component. So I have tightened the open tray components. This is how the analog looks. These are the closed trays. These are the two open trays. Now we'll send this to the lab in the lab where they pour the pattern the gingival mask and they pour the cast.